Good morning. It's Wednesday, January 13th. Um, I'm in the middle of getting ready still. I don't have my eyes on or my hair done. So it's like in between. Um, so the baby's down for a nap right now. And I thought I'd vlog today and just kind of show um, uh, like a day in the life, how it's been at my parents. I've been here for almost four weeks now. I got here December 17th. And yeah, now it's January 13th. So I have a little bit more of a routine now. Um, you know, it takes a while when you're in a new environment and time change and everything. So, but it's going really well. It's nice to have a little extra help with my parents and, you know, siblings, whoever's around to kind of just hold the baby, help him. Um, my parents have been really great. Um, I'm gonna see Mia later tonight. Um, Anna, Mia, and I are gonna go to Scottsdale later this afternoon for happy hour and just hang out on um, the three of us. My mom's still deciding if she can make it or not. She had a hair appointment um, kind of during the time we were gonna go. So um, anyways, we have that today and then I'll just kind of show a little bit um, of the baby here and there. He's growing and changing so much. like. Oh my gosh, every day it's something new. Like he's full on crawling. He's standing now, like pulls himself up, like on a couch, um, on my parents' couch to stand up. And then yesterday, for the first time, he stood up in his crib in the pack and play um, all the way and he did fall like backwards. And I saw all of it on the monitor. So I rushed in there and he was, he was totally fine. I think it just scared him because he was crying after, but he was okay. But he's been um, teething also the last few days. Last night, he actually slept 12 hours, which was amazing for me and him. Because the two nights prior to that, he'd been up throughout the night. And so I was just wore out, you know. It's like 2 a.m. wake up, and just, it was really rough because he would wake up super fussy. Um, but anyways, he's been a really good napper this morning. Slept great last night, which is life-changing when that happens. Like when the baby sleeps and you have time to just get some stuff done and I don't know, um, if you're a mom, you get it. Like napping and sleeping is everything. And they're happier too. The baby is happier and he's in a good mood and he, you know, he's ready to eat and play and he's just, you know, functions way better when he gets that really good sleep. So my arm is getting tired, so I'm gonna set this down. I went to the gym yesterday with two of my siblings. I haven't worked out in like a year, so I'm pretty sore today. We did legs, um, but my arm is really sore too for some reason. <laughs> so I'm gonna finish uh, getting ready. Do you miss eggs? Mm -hmm. You do miss them? I'm sorry. It's just eggs. He slept 12 hours and he's wow. slept almost mm -hmm. another like, two Look hours. Which is crazy. It's crazy. Look who's up from his nappy. Look who's up from nappy. You got your favorite toy. Huh? Your Lutheran <laughs> bottle? That's your favorite. That's your favorite toy right now, huh? And the calculator. You love Pop's calculator. Say hi, Uncle Nene. Uh -huh. Hello. Good morning again. Good morning again. Okay, let's eat. 
set you in your little walker so I can feed you, okay? Okay. Come see your mom. Come see your mom. Let's eat. We have here some potato and some quinoa open. Good. Good job, handsome. Good job, handsome. Good job. Good, buddy. Yeah. You're a good eater. Yes, you are, handsome boy. Are you going to sneeze? Open. Good. Good job, buddy. You are so handsome. You are just the most handsome guy. Yes, you are. You are so handsome. <gasps> Hi, you. Hi, you. So handsome. Auntie Nanny and Mommy are going to get our coffees. We're going to get our coffees. Okay, so cute. I catch one for the wall. <laughs> don't touch them, don't touch them. Anna, don't touch them, don't touch them. Anna, they're dirty. I could have caught it. Did you touch it? No, I didn't. Okay. Birds are so dirty, man. No. Insert clip of me holding <laughs> All the ducks I've caught. Well, they're all so tame. It's like crazy. So the um, the coffee place we went to is Four Silos, and that's why over yonder in the distance are the <laughs> silos. Look at that bird stretching. But this has been our little routine lately. Anna and I we go for a little walk with the bubby. Do I step in bird poop? No. I felt I felt a squish. Look at look at them. Look at the birds. They're just like airing out their wings. Look at them. So this walk has been nice. We get our coffee, we walk around the water, bring the baby, our mom comes. It's nice. Nice little routine. Anna's showing me her jams. Keeping me current, you know. Who did you play for me yesterday that I learned about? Little, little peep, you little yeah. and snots <laughs> with a dollar sign. Snots. <laughs> We're driving to Scottsdale right now to meet our sister Mia. This cute little place. It's pretty new. Called Wine Girl. Adorable. Yeah. So cute. This is Wine Girl. Look at their little patio. It's precious. I feel like it's gonna be all girls and gay people, right? Like, how could it not? No, there's no one here. Oh my gosh. Look at this. So precious. Oh my gosh. Look at all the swag. I know. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is so fun. We're a little trick Anyone in Scottsdale or Arizona from the wine room? Yeah, it's great. It's definitely like a girls' hangout place, but. <laughs> you can't say that. <laughs> but there's five guys here. <laughs> there's more men than women at this place. <laughs> it's true, there are. Yeah. It's another day. It's Friday the 22nd of January. It's a really nice um, day out in Phoenix. I have the baby right here and we are going to go to the Phoenix Zoo. It's right here. I don't know if you can see right over there. Phoenix Zoo. So right now um, we're in the car. We just pulled up and I'm waiting for um, my friend Amber and she's bringing her two one-year-old twins to meet um, here with us. And we just parked, and we're gonna have to unload the kids. She brought like her little, um, she has this cool wagon thing that the kids can sit in, and I think there's harnesses so they don't jump out. I don't know, but um, we're just gonna walk around with them. And it's like a perfect day. It's like 65, which is great because the kids shouldn't get too hot. But um, 
this is one of my first like mom adventure outings besides just like running errands like it's so cute he's eight months old now like eight and a half months so he's more aware of what's going on like I'm sure he'll look at the animals and I don't know I mean he definitely notices like dogs and horses and things if we're out walking around so I think he'll be intrigued by the animals he's still kind of little but like it'll just be something fun to do outside social distance of course we have to wear masks you know when we're in there and everything but it's all outside so it's a great activity to do with the kids he's getting fussy so I'm gonna get him out I have his diaper bag packed and ready to go with all the snacks and all the things since he's been able to like hold um snacks himself like these teethers this has been life-changing um because he pretty much just eats like from a spoon or up to like a couple weeks ago he just ate bottles and ate from a spoon like whatever i would give him but now he's getting the motor skills to like lift things to his mouth um and to even chew like he could hold on to things for a while but he wasn't excuse me really good at like chewing just till maybe the last like 10 days to two weeks so i've been giving him these teethers they keep him occupied i, I why i was driving like i had this open before i left um so it'd be easy i knew while i was driving like i might just need to grab one and give it to him which happened i handed him two of them and he can sit back there and like entertain himself so that's been really nice it's easier once they start to learn to feed themselves a little bit but um anyways i have all the snacks i have he likes these two there's better actually this flavor but um i have all the food and snacks puffs formula hot water bottle everything's ready to go in here it's an event to leave the house you guys with a baby it's like it's like i'm going on a trip but we're just going for like a couple hour outing like the things you have to bring is insane and then the what ifs right like extra jacket extra clothes extra food water everything because you never know but how you doing buddy? We're gonna get you out in one second my love How doing? How doing? Hi happy Hi happy. Oh, you're kind of a mess, huh? You're kind of a mess, huh? We'll clean you up. Then we're gonna go to the zoo and See all the animals. Oh, you're gonna love that sweet boy. Okay Okay <laughs> Let's go next day after the zoo did you have fun buddy i just wanted to come on and close out the vlog and say thanks for watching please like and subscribe if you like 
my vlogs and all my mom content and Weston content. Yeah, sweetie. <laughs> but the zoo was super fun. The kids were great. Um, we had a great time just pushing them around in Amber's wagon and trying to show them the animals. And they're still pretty little to know what's going on, but it was still cute and fun to get outside. And right, bud. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching.